My name's Aiden. I'm 11 years old. What it must be like is like words coming up, they're in your mind, you're trying to form them, and suddenly, for some reason, there's a block. My name is Oscar and I'm 13 years old. That block, however it's created, is um, intensified by your tension. My name is Lisa and I am 13 years old. So it's about tension. Um, it's about pressure. My name's Tom and I'm 13 years old. Having tons of things you want to say and just finding that the actual machine for speaking has dried up. My name is Lily and I'm t 10 years old. It's like the batteries have gone. Um, you know, a sort of some barriers come down at the back of your throat. My 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 name is 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 Charlotte, and I am and I am and I am and I am fourteen. Around five percent of British children will suffer from a stammer at some stage in their lives. That's nearly 200,000 stammerers right across the UK. Nobody quite knows what causes this, and many children will simply grow out of it. But for some, their stammer can become a very real problem. It's not a problem you can cure, but it is one you can learn to control. And that's what's brought six young stammerers and their parents from all over the country together in London. After seeking help from their local speech therapist, they've been specially selected to take part in a course that could change their lives. Over the next two weeks, Aidan, Issa, Oscar, Tom, Lily and Charlotte will attend a very different type of school, a stammer school, at the Michael Palin Centre for Stammering Children.